Hello and welcome to Shor Sir's classes. Today we will learn about Fourier's theorem. Now, what is this theorem? Let us just state it. Let fx be a polynomial of degree of degree n and f1x f 2 x f n x b that's an x there is also an x please don't mistake it for an n i do not have the best handwriting b it's b it's successive derivatives be its successive derivatives and if r is the number of real roots of fx equals 0 between two real numbers a and b of which a is less than b and n and n dash let me just write it properly n dash denote the number of changes number of changes of sign in the sequence in the sequence fx f1x f2x so on and so forth up till fnx for x equals a and x equals b respectively then n is greater than equal to n dash r is less than equal to n minus n dash and and n minus n dash minus r is either even or zero quite a few long statement of the theorem let's now jump to a question so the question states find the consecutive consecutive integers integers which contain contain the real roots of real roots of fx equals x to the power 4 minus x is cube minus 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. Now how do we solve this? We first find what is f1, f2, f3 and f4. So answer just differentiate and you will get 4x is cube minus 3x squared minus 8x plus 4 f 2x is equal to 2 into 6x squared minus 3x minus 4. F3 is equal to 6 into 4x minus 1. And F4x is equal to 24. Please, please solve these by themselves. This is not a movie. So you are required to solve these and get your answers please match them with mine so now let us find the roots 
find by Newton's method. So let us create a column. This is x, f, f, hang on, okay, yeah, f, f1, f2, f3, and f4. This is 0, 1, 2. Now plug in these values. Now once you plug in these values, generally you will get f is a plus. This is also a plus or a positive. This becomes a negative. This becomes a negative and this becomes a positive. Now once you plug in 1, we have this f as positive, f1 negative f2 negative, f3 positive and f4 positive. Now once we plug in 2 we have this is a positive, this is a positive, this is a positive, f3 is also a positive and f4 is also a positive. So all are positives. Just mark and just plug in the values and create this table. It will be easier to visualize. Therefore, we see, therefore, 2 is the upper limit, upper limit of positive roots of fx equals to 0. Now, replacing, replace x by minus y we have in fx in fx we have let's denote this by phi so phi y is equal to phi y to the power 4 plus y cube minus 4y squared minus 4y plus 1 and similarly just differentiate and you will find this is 4y cube q plus 3y squared minus 8y minus 4 just phi 2y is equal to 2 into 6y squared plus 3y minus 4 and phi 3y <coughs> is equal to 6 into 4y plus 1 and phi 4y is equal to 24. <coughs> Let us find the upper limit of the positive root of phi y goes to 0. So how do we go about doing that? y, we create a column and we have y 0, 1, 2, this is phi, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi 4. Plug in these values again, these values, and you will get plus, minus, minus, plus, plus. This is a minus, this is a minus, and this is a plus, this is a plus, this is a plus, this is a plus, and this is a plus, this is a plus, this is also a plus, and we have since 2. Since 2 is the upper limit of positive roots of phi y equals to 0 minus 2, this is the lower limit. of negative roots. So again we'll have to make a column, have to make a chart rather in the form of x, f, f1, f2, f3 and f4 and we'll have all the values from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 
and 2. So we will have plus minus plus minus plus so and let's take a column number of sign changes so this column just gives us 4 minus plus plus minus plus this gives us 3 plus plus minus minus plus so there are two side changes and this gives us plus minus minus plus plus these also have two sign changes and for two we will have zero sign changes so there may be we write there may be two real roots between 1 and 2 or no positive root root since we will have to check this again f1.5 is negative this is negative all the roots all the roots of fx equal to 0 are real and and they lie between minus 2 to minus 1 minus 1 to 0 1 to 1.5 and 1.5 to 2 this is your answer there are quite a lot of steps you might want to rewind the video and one might want to watch it again please be careful while doing the differentiations and while writing down the signs in any case Thank you for watching.